Hey, it's Jason Creel. In my opinion, the best backpack blowers on the market are made by Red Max. I go so far to say that of all the lawn equipment I've used over the years, the one I have the most confidence in is my Red Max blower. And that's counting all the different zero turn mowers, string trimmers, hedge trimmers, all the piece of equipment. The Red Max blowers seem to be the most durable and you know the ones that I can rely on day in and day out. I want to show you these are this is four different models of uh, Red Max blowers. There there are more. I'm, I'm pretty sure they make a handheld model, but um, this is uh, the 5150. So it's uh, I'm not sure if it's the smallest backpack blower. There may be one smaller, or, or this this may be the smaller. I'm not sure. Um, but this is what I primarily use. Uh, if you're focused on just residential properties, you know, unless you're uh, doing a lot of serious leaf cleanup or blowing off real big parking lots, most likely the 5150 is going to be sufficient for you. Um, if you want to go one step up, this is the 6500, and like I said, they 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 change the model numbers around. Um, so if, whether it's still the 6500, but any, anyway, the the 6000 range model and this is the 5000 range model so um, this is the next size up so you look it, it's not much difference in size I've, I've had a 6500 before and it, and it does have more power so if you just want a little bit more power you may consider that um, there's a 7000 model which I don't have one here it may be the 7100 or 7150 I'm not or 7500 I think maybe is what you know something in that 7,000 range, um, and and that would be the next size up. Then you have these the 8,500s, uh, the biggest ones made by Red Max. I have two of them here, and I want to show you the difference. Um, so, for instance, on this is the EBZ 6,500. Your throttle is on on a you know on the opposite side. And you just have a handle here, where on on the 5150, you know, it's all together. On your your handle and throttle is all on the same hand. It's kind of a preference. Um, I prefer to have it all on the same hand, where I can just control the trigger um, while you know guiding the blower. So, and these these two, the the 8500 series, there's one of each. One that has just the handle with the throttle on the opposite side, and the other has the throttle and the handle on the same side. So, you know, that's just personal preference, but if you're, uh, you know, have some big properties, you do a lot of leaf cleanup, or, you know, you're just one of those guys that likes to have the biggest blower out there, um, then, then go with the 8500. Uh, the downside is just the, the weight of the blower. I mean, it does weigh on, you know, I don't know, if you had to blow off, uh, apartment complex and you have to carry it around for an hour blowing you know the weight does uh, can wear you out a little bit so just keep that in mind um, and, and I'm not saying there's not other good blowers out there I mean steel Shindao Echo they all make good blowers I'm just saying as far as reliability um, and the power you know the Red Max in my opinion is hard to beat and so um, that's what I would recommend I buy Red Max blowers you know, I, honestly, I buy most of mine brand new off the internet, off eBay, and they're brand new shipped to you in the box, you know, and so um, I think you get the, the, the 5,000, the smaller ones, maybe around 300, maybe a little more, and, um, you know, I, I don't know, the big ones are probably in the 500 range, so that's the range of blowers. So anyway, what we're going to do, I'm going to uh, demonstrate the blowers for you show you we, we got some leaves on the ground I'm, I'm just gonna blow uh, in the backyard here uh, at someone's house even though it's not not a typical application you know of what you'd use a blower for I just wanted to show you the difference in the power uh, as we blow off some leaves I'm gonna use the small blower first and then I'll put on one of the 8500s and show you the power that it has hope this helps thanks And right when I shoot the video, old boy goes over and cranks up his thing. Out there weed eating his whole yard. Right, so what we're going to do is, I got my friend Eddie here. He's going to use the 8500. I'm going to use the, the
5,000, and you'll be able to see some of the difference in the, uh, the power of the blower. So we're just going to blow around, see, and maybe you can take note of, you know, the power of, of the small one versus the bigger one. I'm sure you guys could tell from the video the 8500 is obviously more powerful than, than the 5150 and it really depends on what your application is whether you're going to be blowing off big parking lots or apartment complexes you know then or doing a lot of leaf cleanup then you, you probably would want to go with the larger blower um, if you you know just doing small residentials or maybe even for your own home uh, the 5150 would probably be adequate for you you know uh, so it, it just depends on what you're using them for, but either way, I highly recommend a Red Max blowers. They're fantastic and very durable. Thanks.